everybody tonight I'm gonna share with you a little bit of my favorite story one of my favorite stories from blade show and if you've been to blade show then you know it's like 50% of it maybe all the awesome knives and just the overwhelming amount of blades and cool stuff that's gonna be there but a big part of that maybe even more than 50% maybe like 60 70% are the people that you meet and the people that are involved with our addiction or obsession here and the people that make the knives people like me and you that buy the knives and you get to meet these people and you get to know their stories and you find out that a bunch of them are awesome people and have cool stories and so here i was just just bought my first knife i just bought that gsd from ling ma and i turned around and there was right right to the caddy corner at the edge of the, the row, at the end of the row was the Tree of Liberty, Bladecraft, and Forge. And so I went over there and this knife just jumped out at me. And this is it in here. I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet, but I'm gonna show it to you in a second, so hold on. But the cool thing was, was the awesome attitude of the guys that were working there. And I got to meet the guy that made the blade. His name is Buddy Thomas. And the whole thing was just a cool attitude, telling me about the knife, telling me about the forge, telling me about just everything that was on the table that I wanted to know about and just taking the time and just treat me like I was the only person there. And and then just like, like we'd known each other forever. And that's what's cool about that whole experience. Just one of the top experiences I had, one of the cool stories I had. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post a link to a Blade Magazine article that they did on Buddy Thomas, and it is amazing, the stuff, the trials he's been through, and the, but the skills he has, just get rid of everything else, the skills this guy has, has, skills has, skills have, anyways, he has skills, and they're amazing, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this knife, and then I'm gonna show you some things that we're gonna do with it, so here it is, this is, oh my gosh, Oh, look at that thing. This is so amazing. You can't believe it. I saw this sitting on the table and I just, and the story was cool because I, I got there and I was gonna buy it and I was ready to buy it and they were real cool about it. And then I realized that my wife had walked off with my credit cards. And so I went looking for her and spent some time over there in the, the big room. And then by the time it was time to come back, I was just my just couldn't make it back to the table. I was exhausted. So I texted these guys. They were super cool, said they'd hold it for me. I went back the next day and had the best experiences. Here I'm gonna show you some pictures, a little bit of video, and just this one? Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry it took so long. Hey, how you doing today, buddy? Good, thanks, sir. You're doing great. This was really cool. So Buddy was cool enough to take a picture with me. And so we got a picture. Unfortunately, the other guy was taking a picture too, so we didn't know where to look. And in his picture, I'm looking over this way, and in my picture, he's looking that way. And there's the happy owner of the new baby. Oh, it was so awesome. That was just a really cool experience for me. And, and my, my sons to, to go through and my wife and she was there and it was just awesome so let me tell you a little bit about the knife this is a ten and a quarter inch blade it is two and three quarters inch thick I mean look at that now this is really cool I didn't know this beforehand but this was made from an early 1900s sawmill blade so they took that from the saw mill from the early 1900s and turned that into a sweet knife. Can y'all see that very well? I hope so, because this thing is awesome. All right. So the, this is, uh, let's see, what does it say? It says it's cedar wood and a black epoxy bolster guard. So just really nice work that he did on this knife is incredible. And the way it feels in hand, you know what I'm going to do with it? You know I'm going to chop some brisket with it so i got a brisket that's been waiting for me to chop but first off i was sitting there and i was buying it and the other gentleman in the 
the area in the table behind the table said that he could put an edge on for me and let me show you the edge this gentleman oh my gosh oh man oh there's the phone okay so he put this edge on there and just you know I'm gonna chop some brisket with this thing they're really cool over there went back they had t-shirts for us and I don't know just a really cool attitude and it was no pressure to buy anything it was just like pressure to talk about knives and it was awesome and he explained stuff to me and it was just really cool and it was really cool to meet the maker it was really cool to meet everybody that was there and I probably could have stayed, sat there all all day and just sat there and talked knives with these guys and just listened to what they they knew and and just learn stuff it was just really cool but this is oh, let me get back to the name this is called the buddy thomas large bushcraft chopper and look at the thickness on that blade that would do some chopping in the bush but today we're going to do some chopping in the kitchen and turn some brisket into chopped meat so let's get over there you saw what it can do with a little bit of uh, paper. I think it's just super sharp. And I can't wait to show you guys what it can do. I really like this for a kitchen knife. It's heavy. It's got a lot of knuckle clearance. So you, the brisket, you know, that brisket's kind of thick. So you got enough knuckle clearance there. And I can't wait. It's 10 and a quarter inches. That should be perfect. All right, let's go see what it looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this brisket into pieces. And for you brisket purists out there, you're probably gonna to want to turn away. This is not the normal way I smoke a brisket unless I have a predetermined plan for it. But that's not about the brisket. This is about this awesome bushcraft chopper that Buddy Thomas made. So, check it out. And let's see what kind of work we can do. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. This might as well have been, oh my gosh. You guys just don't understand. Look at this. You guys can't see a thing. Bad camera here. Let's get this over here. Watch this. Boom. Oh, the belly on this thing is awesome. All right, it's big enough pieces there. All right, so check this out. Watch this. Right through this brisket. Boom. Boom. That's what you're looking for when you're cutting into meat like that. Just something super easy. Oh man, look at this. Boom. Boom. Oh. Thank you, sirs. At Tree of Liberty, this thing. This thing is exactly what I've been looking for for a long, long time. Check this out. Right through the thick part. You don't get your fingers on the brisket ever. It's not hitting the look at that. It's not hitting the cutting board. I don't even know if I'm getting this on here. All right, there, that's where we want to be. Check this out, boom. This thing is so sharp and so strong and as thick as it is across the spine there, it's just a great slicer. Oh my gosh, check this out. Oh, oh me, you guys, this thing just meant to do some serious work look at this thing i want to stop cutting my pieces are getting too small and i still don't want to stop cutting all right i think that's small enough man just a, one more time i gotta do one more because this is awesome look at that oh ho, ho. all right so that's the buddy thomas bushcraft chopper and that thing holy heck folks all right, I'm gonna leave links and stuff down there. See if you would want something like that. Not because of any other reason than this thing is awesome. And it feels like you can go chop a tree down with it too. Just super amazing. I'm so excited about this knife. Just stoked. All right, back to the table. All right, so you saw what I could do some brisket. I think it would just tear up just about anything you put onto it, anything you wanted to do with it. Just an amazing, awesome knife. One of my, and a great story that goes with it. Just somebody I look forward to talking to you again next year, if they're there. And 
just a really cool thing. This is what Blade Show was all about for me. It was a lot about knives, and the knives were awesome, but it seems like every knife I bought had a really cool story to it and had a really cool experience behind it. That was, that was just all of them, and this one was just up there at the top. So, check out that story that I'm going to post down there on Blade Magazine. Check that out. That's pretty cool. And, you know, give him a shout out. Just say, hey, I saw your knife. It was awesome. If you get a chance to do that. He's on Facebook. I'll put I'll put their Facebook page down there too. Just a really cool, really cool forge. And I might have to have him some, make me something else if I can save some money. <laughs> All right. So there you go. This is the Buddy Thomas Large Bush Craft Chopper. I got it Blade Show 2018 in an excellent, excellent Blade Show story. I will talk to you later.